what most of you don't know is that Adam was one of the first people that I met in San Francisco. And I've got, I've, I've had the opportunity, I think I would say, to watch Adam in personal settings, a couple beers deep. I've seen him in professional settings speaking to clients, and then I've seen him at Toastmasters giving formal speeches. So it's really cool to see somebody in multiple different settings and how they, how they speak overall. Today, Adam was giving a CC2, and that's, that's organize your speech. Before we do that, I do need to let you know that I know what an Etch-A-Sketch is. It's a mechanical <laughs> drawing toy invented by Andre Cassi of France, subsequently manufactured by the Ohio Art Company, and now owned by Spin Master of Toronto. So, Connect on Dallas, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the Cleveland and the Toronto. Um, so you had to Google it. I, I did Google it. So you don't I really Google. know still. I know what it is. It's that. You know, you, you twist the knobs and things are drawn. So I'll organize the speech and tell you two good things about Adam's speech that I really enjoyed and two points of improvement. Starting off with the good. I think this was an extremely well-written speech, and I think everybody can agree that Adam writes very well. One line that stuck out to me was, the dust was omnipresent in the air. And it's lines like that that allow you to really visualize the crappiness of the job that he was describing. Humor as well. I don't think I have seen a CC2 get more laughs. I, 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 I haven't been around that long, but I feel like that was a really, really humorous CC2. So I think both of those points are, are what I would leave Adam with from a good perspective, very well written and very humorous. If we move to the improving side of things, Adam had a really chill presence. For some people, that's really good. I, I think you, you had what I would call loose arm syndrome, where it's kind of just real chill. <laughs> which, which isn't a terrible thing. And I think the way that we can improve this is, first of all, if you record yourself, because you're gonna be able to see the movements that you make and how deliberate or non-deliberate they are. Another piece of advice that I would give for um, anybody that, that is doing this is something I believe Jason told me, which is record yourself without speaking. So do the whole speech just with your hand movements. Speak in your head. So that way you know every movement you are making is deliberate. So that's the one piece of improvement a little bit too chill. The second one is what I would have loved at the beginning of the speech is if you labeled the speeches or the valuable points of, of improvement one, two, three before you actually did that. And Scott, who just competed in the area contest and won the area contest, has a really good job of doing that. And, and you guys could watch that. So overall, I think that was an amazing CC2. I look forward to seeing the next one.